Wow, look at that. The awesome crap big barn sale. I can't wait to see what's in there. There's signs about it all over town. Look, there's the awesome big barn. Let's see if we can find anything in there. Hey everybody, it's Dominic from the Primetime Treasure eBay store and YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video. As you could see from the contents inside that barn, it was really not good, not as advertised. I really was only able to find one thing, which was this How and Why Civil War book from the 1960s. Anytime you could find these How and Why books in pretty decent shape, I do suggest that you pick them up. Uh, they are uh, good if you have them in big uh, lots and they will sell well. Individually, they're not gonna sell for a lot, but you know, just take them, buy them as they come in, put them to the side, make a big lot and then sell them off. But the more general reason why I wanted to show that and that sign is that sign is all around town. Uh, and there's, you know, from miles and miles away and it leads people over here. And in general, when you see uh, any type of you know, garage sale or even a state sale that's advertised really heavily with uh, you know words like totally awesome, amazing, best sale ever. Uh, typically, they are not what they're cracked up to be, uh, and that's usually a red flag actually for me that it's not going to be a great sale. So don't get yourself overly worked up in terms of thinking that this is going to be uh, amazing. Actually, go into it assuming that it's actually probably not going to be good. And then if it is, maybe, uh, you know, then you'll be pleasantly surprised. Uh, but I've seen this happen so many times, which is why I just wanted to start off with that as a little bit of a, a humorous introduction uh, to the video. So going around, looking at some other sales, uh, seeing if there's anything uh, good. And uh, if so, I'll turn the camera on and let you know what I find. All right, well, this one looks better than the totally awesome crap sale that we just went to. So let's take a look up there and see if we can find anything good. Very nice, all books, 50 cents each. Definitely go for this one. And this one. That too. And there's another one over here, so pick this one up. Looks good inside, no writing, no rips, no stains. All right, so let's get away from the totally awesome crap garage sales and go to an area where I do much better, which is North Syracuse. I've talked about this before. This is a garage sale, has got a tent up and we're gonna go inside, see if I can find anything in there. Bet you I find something better than uh, the other place. So you said this one and the other one for 20? Yeah. Oh, you have a CD? Okay, hold on. Um, yeah, the power works. Open and close. Hold on. There we go. Pull one of these in, see if it registers. Well, there it is, the find of the day for sure. Taking a back seat in the primetime treasure mobile. That, my friends, is a 130 to $150 item that I literally just got for $10 because she was trying to pair it with a receiver, but the receiver didn't have any value. So I just said, well, if it's $20 for both, how much is it for just one? So she said $10. So, I mean, that is an absolute complete bargain. It comes with the remote and the remote works. You saw me test it out, even comes with the instructions. So the comps on this are really easily between 130, 150. And you know, people often ask, well, how do you factor in 
you know, shipping, if shipping's gonna be expensive. And my answer to that is, you don't have to worry about that too much if you source an item that's of high value for low value. So if you're sourcing a $150, $130, $150 item for 10 bucks, you know, at most, even if shipping was $20, $30, you're still making out really, really well on it. So you don't have to worry about that too much. I mean, you know, you could put it in economy shipping, priority, you could see what the differences are between FedEx and the United States Postal Service. I put it up as, um, you know, economy shipping and I'll just, you know, work out the numbers when it sells, depends on what location it's going to in terms of what's the, uh, what's the best option. But this is a huge score to be sure. All right, everybody. Well, that is a wrap. I really had a limited amount of time today that I was able to uh, dedicate to sourcing. So my goal was just to try to find some type of big score somewhere and stop at that point. So fortunately, I was able to do that with the 300 CD disc player that you just saw me get. The thing I want to point out, though, before I completely end this video is where was it that I was able to make that big score? Was it at the place that had all the hype behind their sale and all the hype on the sign in the very beginning? No, it wasn't. That place barely had anything. Now, the place that wound up having something was in that working class neighborhood, that older neighborhood that doesn't have any fancy signs that had you know, a widow who was uh, selling stuff from her husband who passed away several years ago. That's one of the reasons I was able to get that CD changer at such a good rate was because um, it was just taken up bulk. It wasn't hers. It was her husband. She had nothing invested in it at all. Um, and she just, just wanted to get rid of it. So she was happy for someone to come by and take it. And um, she's practically just giving it away for 10 bucks. So, um, you know, very low investment on my part, but in a high yield. So I'm happy with that part of it. She's happy that she has this big bulky electronic piece gone. So always remember though, those big bulky electronics, there's a lot of money money in, uh, in some of those. So don't pass them up. Take a look at them. Um, you know, you have to be careful with packing them and boxing them. You often have to double box those things so that they don't get damaged while shipping. But again, there could be really a lot of significant money in that. Uh, so pays to look up the comps while you're there at the sale and just experiment. Maybe um, you don't want to buy something quite that big that I just purchased. Maybe you want to start at like a Blu-ray DVD player or a DVD um, VCR combo, those are very popular, believe it or not. I uh, check out the comps for a lot of those. They sell really well. Um, but uh, again, you know, don't always get caught up in that fancy sign and that fancy ad. Um, you know, a lot of times they're really not what they're cracked up to be. And in my experience, most of them are not. You may have a different experience. If you do, let me know down below. Do you find that at the garage sales that have those, uh, you know, um, you know, a lot of hype behind them in terms of how awesome and amazing. And when they say you don't want to miss this one, something for everybody, all that type of stuff. I've learned that just goes in one ear and out the other, or I just totally take it with a grain of salt whenever I see that type of stuff. Doesn't mean I won't go. And I'm not telling you not to go, but what I am saying, especially if you're new, is not to get caught up in that hype and just, you know, take it like another sale unless there's something that you saw in some pictures that really drew you to it. Um, otherwise, just assume that when you go there, it's going to be like a lot of the other ones that are just kind of ho-hum. Um, so, um, you know, and work those working class neighborhoods, those older neighborhoods, that's in my experience where all the gold is, all the fun is, and all the, you know, the really good treasure. So um, that's uh, going to be an actual wrap for today. Now I'm going to end the video. I've made some of those points. Uh, just make sure that if you like the video, that you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. That little treasure chest pops up at the end. Come join my Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center. The link to that is down below. Tons of great uh, tips and um, just a nice, supportive, positive uh, group of people. That are, There's over uh, 1,200 members now, so I'd love to see you uh, be a part of it and help us get up to 2,000. Uh, any comments, questions, leave those down below.